The wiki assignment for weeks four and five looks rather complex, but actually I think you will find it to be challenging, interesting, but definitely within the range of your competencies. So begin by reading the assignment in the weekly folder carefully. There is a discussion forum for questions and for signing up with teammates. If you have read or looked at the sites in the reading assignment, you will find it rather easy to select one of the conventions or covenants. Here, I'm largely suggesting that you use the Covenant for the Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women or the Convention on the Rights of the Child. What you actually need to do to complete the assignment will be most clear, I think, if you next scroll down to the Convention's Worksheets and open the Excel document. Here is a document for the Covenant for the Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women. In the left column are the countries or members of the United Nations on record. Then there is a column for the actual Covenant, yes or no, for the optional protocol, and then yes or no. Having looked at the Excel sheet for, for either of the two suggested conventions will make it easier for you to follow the instructions. But next, go to the wiki. Click on View. And now you will find more detailed instructions. Read these, but most important, and again, this page is also in the Assignments folder, click on the United Nations Treaty Collection, the status of the key documents. This will take you to the United Nations Treaty Collection database. And let's go down and look at the Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women. Click on the live link. And now here you will find the status of the treaty in every country. You can view this as a PDF Actually, you can view it and print it off. And now you can see that the date of the ratification or signature appears for every country. What is perhaps most interesting are these little numbers off to the side. Let's go down and look at what these mean. For Algeria, note that the government declares that even though it's signed, that there's a provision concerning equal rights for men and women relating to marriage, and that it should not contradict the provisions of the Algerian Family Code. You will see similar provisions on many countries. Now, Looking again at the Excel data sheet for Afghanistan, you would indicate that yes, Afghanistan has ratified this convention. Looking at, for example, Algeria, it has a footnote. So here, yes, let's look at Algeria. We would put Yes, 
and the yes or no, and the year, same for Afghanistan, and these columns. So here, if you are using, if you are the person who is designated on your team to do these countries, and I would suggest you divide the list in half, you would put a yes or a no. You could put one or zero or Y or N. and then put the year so for Afghanistan I would use the 2003 1994-1996 there are many reasons to add to your analysis the optional protocol. The optional protocol gives the convention some real teeth, in other words, some enforcement mechanisms that would not be present in simply the ratification of the amendment. So let's look at the optional protocol. And here you'll find more countries who have abstained or who are registering reservations to the optional protocol. When you have completed your own assignment, go to the wiki and you and a partner need to claim a wiki. There are six wikis on the site three of them, or four of them, are labeled for the Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women. You need to label that as your wiki, or if you would like to use a different convention, put this on the board and let me know. But now, when you click on that wiki, you will see that the exact same table you are using for your Excel sheet appears in the wiki. So you will simply, at this stage, copy your, your checks, your yes and no, or zero and one, to the wiki. Please note that the information, or the link to the collection, the treaty collection, is at the bottom of the page. So you can simply refer to the treaty there, or you can print off uh, the PDF. I hope that you find this assignment interesting and really rather simple to do. One thing you will note as we move across the semester is that a number of articles that we will read and a number of the sociological articles on human rights use a similar uh, procedure. The next step is, of course, trying to figure out why some countries ratify the amendments and other countries don't. Um, if you have questions, again, please be sure to go to the discussion forum and ask them. Uh, if we need more time, we can always take it. It's very important that you provide feedback to me on these assignments and let me know which ones you think work, add to your understanding of the assignments, add to your understanding of human rights, and which ones don't. Again, I hope you enjoy the assignment and that you will ask questions about anything that is not really clear to you. Have a great week.